Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 22nd of 2022 well, it is titled a large tsunami shockwave on the sun. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the sun and it is taken looking at just the light emitted by hydrogen. Now, since the sun is 90% hydrogen, that's a lot of the material on it. And therefore, we can get a better a good look at the sun this way. Now the sun is known for big storms and we see things like sunspots which are darker areas on the surface of the sun. And while they're darker because they're slightly cooler they are also signs of very active regions. And in fact a solar flare back in 2006 produced a large tsunami that we see here in this very bright area off to the left of the image. Now this tsunami we don't see it moving here but this actually was moving so fast that it was able to circle the sun in just a few minutes. So it kind of zipped through uh, much as a tsunami would occur through the oceans here on Earth but traveling much much faster and therefore much more energetic and actually uh, causing uh, disrupting various areas such as filaments on the sun other active areas as it washed through them as it zipped around the sun. Now producing something like this takes a lot of energy and the energy comes from the solar magnetic field. That is what develops the sunspots. As the solar magnetic field gets twisted and tangled, these sunspots will develop as this magnetic field inhibits energy flow from the interior of the sun to the surface. And that's why the sunspots look a little bit darker. But there are also again signs of a lot of energy being stored there. And when that energy is released, sometimes we get tremendous storms such as the one we see in our image for today, this bright area, which then raced around the sun at a million kilometers per hour, zipping across the entire sun in just a few minutes before uh, it would eventually dissipate within the rest of the solar surface. So to compare size, this would be something a much uh, earth sized uh, so, uh, the sunspot would have been earth sized this would be even much larger as it produced through uh, much larger than even our earth so vastly larger than anything we normally think of here on earth as a tsunami uh, as it would overwhelm our entire earth in terms of size so that was our picture of the day for may 22nd of 2022 it was titled a large tsunami shockwave on the sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Andromeda now and again. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.